Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are back from vanquishing the Viscount. Hammurabi, Percy, Sunasis and Amorous, they went out and they were just powerhouses. They did a great job, especially Sunasis towards the end there, getting that powerful virtue. So, so useful. And these guys, they just did a great job curing the curse for everyone out there and vanquishing yet another boss within the courtyard. This time, we're trying out some new classes. We actually have two brand new classes to go over backstories for, as well as a prisoner that we uh, rescued, an actual duplicate of one of the classes, a salamander that we have. So we have some uh, backstories to go into here. First of all, we have um, Rayla here which is our chaplain which is a very powerful class apparently so i'm very very uh ready to take her out i've actually already got ready um a group here to go out and yes this is the backstory by tea two years ago he bid farewell to his homeland a humble warrior of the light perhaps intent on finding some greater evil to slay than mere men his name was renault he left something far behind in his quest a family a wife, a child, and a dearest sister who lived nearby. Came to visit from time to time. Her name was Raylia. Uh, Rayla. Rayla heard of Renault's leaving. At first, supporting his quest, but as time passed, she realized she had nowhere to contact him or find out where he was. He could be dead for all she knows. She found one of Renault's spare sets of armor and a sword, and she began her practice. She had believed in the light, but now she had begun her more um, fervent studies to become uh, its servant and a herald, a ray of light. The armor and blade were too heavy for her to bear, but she would bear this the way anyways. The light would grant her the strength she truly needed. After a year of training and waiting and praying, a terrible event occurred. She stepped outside to see the skies pulsating in shades of crimson red, the ground itself took a dark turn as the earth shifted around on its own, grabbing at Rayla's feet. A hideous amalgamation took chase from the woods with the intent to harm. Rayla stood her ground at the doorstep of Renault's family. She flipped her visor down and smiled as her armor shone bright. She stood there, taking down a creature after creature her movements labored and her breath uh, breath and heartbeat quickening with every passing moment as she extend uh, exerted herself more and more into the heavy armaments yet despite grievous no fatal injury she did not die she shone brighter as the light coursed through her blood and cauterized her wounds finally the onslaught ended but the world had not returned to normal and renault's family had fled the city of Amidus, for its gargantuan walls and vigilant guard could not be their only hope to survive. Wow. That is insane. That's such a good backstory. That is such a good backstory. It's so cool to see that we've got such a long time patron of the Darkest Dungeon of our Hamlet in um, Renault's sister, actually, here. I'm really happy that um, Rayla has, uh, has made her way down here. Um, and yeah, her family has, has fled for the city of Amadis, trying to use its guard to stay safe from the horrors that they've seen. But that's a really good backstory, and I'm super, super happy to have her on board. It's, uh, it's going to be great. Uh, and then next up, we actually have our Duelist, which is another new class that we've got. Very interesting class as well. So let me quickly find the backstory for that, and we'll get into that. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this, our Duelist, is um, Arik. Arik, our duelist. And this is a backstory coming from Blank, Blank Gaming. Agile, precise, merciless. There are some of those some of the words used to describe Arik. Anyone who challenges him gets defeated within seconds because of how well he knows for not losing. How well he's known for not losing. He was banned from almost every duelist tournament because people either thought that he was a cheat or that it wouldn't be entertaining to see him slaughter people. And he started to look for a more obscure challenge hunting creatures that are considered too dangerous for sport, until he heard stories about the darkest dungeon. He thought that something there might finally be able to give him a powerful enough adversary. So this is a really, really cool class. Uh, got some really interesting stuff to do with Repost and yeah, some interesting stealth stuff. And I've kind of made a pretty cool build ready for Arik here. And then of course we have Sixth, who's in the group two and um, Ryan as well. And then we do have one more backstory here, and this is for our uh, new salamander. Let's get into this one now as well. Uh, this is our new salamander. 
in in souk. I think that's in souk. In in a souk. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but this is a backstory by Cell. Much like Aruki, Inosuke is a powerful parakinetic who was raised from birth to be a devastating warrior. He lives by the code of the survival of the fittest. To him, anyone who's weak must be culled with no mercy. There is no room for weakness, for that is what gets good men killed. With his cold fury, Inosuke found himself easily becoming one of his country's most elite warriors, even fighting beside Aruki a few times. His king found him to be such an efficient warlord of a, and a loyal servant that he was given his own portion of the army to control to deadly effect. When a rookie defected, he showed no remorse for his former sister in arms, simply stating that she was always weak and it would only be a matter of time. At the fateful battle, he held his sword poised at the comet streaked, that streaked above, momentarily stunned by its raw power. A moment after, Aruki had dove into the bolts of power. He followed his prey into the unknown. Throughout sheer force of will, he held strong until the end ended up in a different world, deep within a thick swamp. Exhausted from the ordeal, he slumped against a rock to catch his breath. That was when a series of um, pincers erupted from the ground, completely ensnaring him. He woke up sometime later in a dusty room, found by a party of adventurers. He, lamin uh, he, he laminated at needing to be saved, but was thrilled at the prospect of having a new world to conquer. So this, as you can see, written by Cell, is going to tie in quite nicely to um, Aruki, our other Salamander's backstory. And I'm looking forward to, if we can, taking these two guys out together. I don't know if they, these two classes can be taken out at the same time, but having these two out together could be really fun. So I'm going to try and see if we can do that. But let's get into the current setup that we've got going on here, because we do have some new things happening. Uh, we're going to be going out into the curve on a medium adventure here. Uh, this is the one we're going to go for, collecting the three and ancestral relics because uh, we're still trying to level some people up from level four to level five before we get into the bosses um and that would be our um sixth our beast master and um our chaplain here uh, our new chaplain um Rayla. so here Ar Arik, he is uh, going to be our frontliner we're giving him the um extra damage um crit chance and speed while stealthed along with the quick draw charm so that he can go first um, and actually get some extra crit and this is so he can use backpedal immediately because what this is going to do is backpedal is going to give him i mean a good amount of damage which is nice but also the bigger thing it's going to stealth him for two rounds and buff his speed uh, so then he can go into the blade from the blue which is going to deal an extra 50 percent damage while he's stealthed which is really really nice that them two are going to pair well together i think and um, then we have sixth who again he's going to be doing some stealthing business he's going to be using his um feral cuts along with his escape to get back um all the way to the back of the party and then he can use bird of prey or something similar i'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with him yet but we'll probably end up mostly using cougar's leap here and unwavering um we'll we'll use the feral cuts uh in sort of link with our ability to jump backwards if we need to and then here we have the twisted specimen along with the crushed hemlock so that he gains uh quite a lot he gains four over four light every time he hits an enemy which i think should be really really good uh then real uh rea real i don't know why i can't say Aurelia's name Raylia, rea 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 i don't know why i keep thinking it's Raylia, rea Okay, and with, with Rayla, we're going with the Fortified Garlic along with the Otherworldly Bell. She does have decent damage, not amazing. And the Fortified Garlic is just kind of there to help out a little bit with those disease resists and blight resists. And then, of course, we have Ryan, who's coming in with the... Um, the minus to his bleed chance and the Juni's head for that massive uh, bump to his healing and i'm thinking that we can maybe get a little bit of synergy going here with the um vulnerability hex plus this here the 45 damage versus marked and that should work out quite nicely there's some really really interesting abilities for um Rayla. she's got this here the uh, martyr's brand which is going to target someone and on attack it will heal everyone for six but they receive a hundred percent extra crits but Arik has 50 dodge 50 so we should see that that he's able to stay out the way of most damage 
Uh, as long as, as well as they have this as well, the Heavenly Wrath, which is going to heal self, um, as well as the Radiance for a bit of stress relief on allies, and of course the Thrust as well. I think this is going to go really well. And this should be a decently powerful build, a decently powerful group. Uh, not sure exactly how well it'll go, but I'm, I'm excited to jump in and try out. So let's just... Uh, buy up everything we need to and jump on into this we won't need blood now because we've basically cleared out all of the um all of the possible blood suckers now for at least a while so i'm really happy about that and let's just jump in and see how these guys uh see how these guys get on within the curve here we have quite a lot of diary entries uh today as well um there's, there's quite a few to get through so i'm going to go through a few of those now we're going to start with the narration for uh Sunasis's virtue Sunasis, how small and timid how weak, her fear shone in her eyes, and the horde descends upon her. Intent on killing the easiest of all prey, despite their vicious onslaught, she survived. Although, much worse for were. Cowards, she whispered under her breath. I cannot fight back, so you go for me, cowards. She brought herself unsteadily back to her feet. Her hands trembled with anger, but her role in this team was set in stone. She would spill no blood. But they could. Give them a damn good thrashing, she cried out. Amurabi smiled slightly under his mask as he put a little more force into his next strike. Awesome. Absolutely, absolutely loved that. Uh, and that pairs really well into, that's by TA by the way, and that pairs really well into Strange Wonders diary entry for Sunasis. I had the time to calm down from that fight. Two things. First off, I can't wash the blood off my clothes. I can't wash it off no matter what I do. The thought that those disgusting creatures were once human like us drives me absolutely mad. Second, I managed to study enough of them to start to understand exactly how the curse works. The strange blood splatters across their clothes, the consistent stains across them. It's like the changes are consistent, followed by the blood splats, or are caused by them. It seems like the mechanism of change works like a self-sustaining virus. It isn't infectious, uh, infecting the blood, it's turning the blood into the infection. And the host must ingest more to add to build the material to an already forming pheromone. The more blood is turned into curse, the more they need to inject to update their own. A never-ending cycle until the curse makes all the modifications to the host body it needs. It seems the curse can almost be influenced by the strength of will. Benjamin and Sean, the two brothers, pr proved as much. Isaac has made arrangements to stall the curse of all effects to a minimum, so we have time to cure it. But still, as there appears to be a time frame in which the curse can be purified, the question remains, how? Damn, that's so good. So interesting. I'm Recover loving these, these stories. Let's jump in and see what we can we do here. Prevent them from falling into even less a battle straight away but we get the surprise and i'm really just interested to see how this group ends up working so we always want to go with this first um wait is that the wrong one i think i just used the wrong one i think i, I just used this by accident whoops <laughs> okay so that that obviously didn't really work the way we wanted to we lowered his dodge though that's not what i wanted to do at all so that's a bit of a shame <laughs> um Let's get you. Oh, unfortunate miss there, but that does enter us into stealth. And then you take a good, good amount of damage. Minus 40 dodge here, that's crazy. Okay, I'm a little worried here after messing up that first move, but I was just too focused on that beautiful backstory. Beautiful diary entries, they're so good. Damn, these guys are dodge heavy right now. Mortality clarified in a single strike. What the hell? That was so bad. That was so bad. My god. My god. This is pretty bad. This 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 is really bad. Confidence we need to heal you up super quickly. Problems. I can't believe you just got crit for 20 straight away. That's insane. You should be dead now. Okay, you are taking too much stress. I'm going to have to clear that off you, because that's insane. Okay, take you out. I'm really scared. Maintain the offensive. I'm going to do this just because I want the stealth. Weakened. Okay, wait. Does it, that's a chance to stun ourselves. We resisted a stun there. I don't know why. 
trench. Are you kidding me, dude? Ryan, why? <laughs> why, Ryan? God damn it. Oh my god, this is bad already. This has already started off terribly. Destroyed. I can't believe how bad that just went. Remind yourself right, we're going to have to eat quite a lot here. Slow and insidious killer. Because Ryan decided to not heal at all. <laughs> <laughs> My god, wow. Okay, another battle straight away. Let's let's do this right this time. Um Good damage. There's the stealth. Okay. Bit better this time. I don't know why it says resistance stun. Really, can you stop stressing yourself out, please? My god. Nice crit. The blight and bleed there for a lot. What the hell? What the actual hell is going on right now? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That's two crits in a row. Oh my god, Ryan. No, you are going to get people killed. I'm this is already going terribly. Ryan, please. Please. Can't believe they didn't kill. I am scared, I have to say. Yeah, that gets you. The slow death. Unforeseen. Please. Four! Brian, what is this? Do you have a vendetta against us? Please, my dude, please. Also, why can't I check on six stats? I can't check on six stats for some reason, I don't know why. Oh my god. Great is the weapon my god, I can't own. believe Ryan is screwing us right now so hard. Ryan is screwing us so, so hard right now. I'm setting up that. There we go. Thank you. Continue my god. Destroy that was scary. Them. That was really scary. Please, not another battle. <laughs> so soon. God damn. This game sometimes. Oh. Okay, this is also really bad because we don't have any remove bleeds. Okay, set up our stealth. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Um. Yeah, let's just get you with a blight and bleed. Didn't get you with a blight, got you the didn't get you with bleed, got you with the blight though. Um You've got prot, haven't you? Let's lower that prot then, shall we? Lowers your damage as well. Nice. That's gonna help out a bunch. This is a pretty hard fight though, this th these enemies here. We did get one dodge there, but unfortunately horror comes in. Um Do we just go for the damage here? We're, we're, just, we're not going to get much damage out of this. I think we just keep having to go for the damage, but we're not going to get much out of this at all. Tidal Slam's going to hurt, and it can stun. Nice dodge, though. Nice dodge. Okay. Wow, we can debuff for one round with Disarm. That's kind of insane. Disarm is going to lower accuracy, crit, and damage just for one round, but that's pretty good. Um... We can hit, hit for a lot of damage here, though, so I want to go for that. Nice crit. There we go. Look at that blight and bleed coming out there. Skull toss is going to hurt, but we got a dodge. Nice. This one good thing about this team is they do have pretty high dodge. Um, we'll go for a heal here. Of course, you hit for 12 there. Come on. Yes, another dodge. Let's finish you off. Good, good. Um, you are unholy, so we could do a bit of extra damage to you. Let's go for it. Not much, but it'll do. Did you get the good buff this time? You did. Nice. Um, and let's go for that again. Getting those on there, it's really good, that. Hey, um, hmm. I'm going to go for this, actually, and just set up that with a minus dodge and increase our own dodge. Nice. The horror is kind of bad, but we've got okay stress relief here, so we should be all right. Nice. 
care. This is going better now. It's going better. Nice dodge again. Okay, dodges are coming out fast and fast and heavy right now. I'm very happy about that. And this attack is so good. There we go. Indeed it does. We'll open that up. Wow. My god. That's that was some scary business right there. That was some scary business indeed. My god. Okay, we do have a trap here. What we're we looking like 95. Okay, of course, sixth. Knows his way around every trap within the darkest dungeon. Or within the hamlet, I should say. Surrounding areas. He knows. We hadn't been out with sixth in a while, so I really wanted to bring him out. He's uh He's not really been to the curve too much before, but he's very well suited for it, so. In radiance, Welcome to bring him. Okay. I hope we can get a kill. Oh, I was hoping we could get a kill right off the bat there. We've got two high speed characters though, so we might be able to see with Slash coming in. These can crit for really high, as we've just seen, so we really want to be getting rid of those as quickly as possible. Um, hmm. Trying to think what we want to go for here. I think we go for that one, you. Try and take you down as quickly as possible. Nice dodge. Nah. I, I, I say it preemptively, just hoping. <laughs> it didn't work that time for us. Bit of horror coming out there. Been taking a lot of horror recently, but that's that's not too bad. Uh, I'm just going to go for the heal here, because why not? Do we have two people that have um, severe mood swings? We do. There you go. 28 that time. Better than zero, thanks. Okay, you're gone. Good. Gives everyone a heal as well, because we've got that otherworldly bell. Finish you off. And I think that... <laughs> oh my god, 60%. We have to take that off. Um, let's go with the mark and dodge reduction. And it crit as well. Okay. Uh, just so we can get that extra damage with um, Rayla. Rayla. Keep messing that up. But this should finish you off. Bit of stress coming in. Nice dodge. A huge amount of dodges helping out a bunch. He might be dead, actually, so might not need to do that. Um, let's go with that. Nice bit of stress relief there. Yeah, I was going to say, you were going to die there, so rather do that. And then go, we are. Stab you. Not quite a kill, but that's okay. Nice dodge again. Yes. Okay, this team is, is starting to come together now. I can't believe this. This team is starting to come together. A trifling victory. But a, a victory, victory nonetheless. nonetheless. We do have quite a few diaries to get into today as well, so we'll end up camping soon and read a few more of those. Okay. Bit, bit of a hard team here. Could end up taking um, some horrible damage from these guys. Let's try and take out you first. Not quite the kill, but we're getting close. All we need is a crit with one of those, and we do have a crit mod on that, so... I'm going to just take you out now. I'd rather just get you gone. Very nice. Ryan's taking a bit more stress than everyone else. Nice dodge. Oh, scary. Okay. Um, let's mark you. Just get that extra bit of damage coming out. And there you go. We got a one-hit kill from that and a heal. So, worked out perfectly well. This is why I want to be doing the marking here. You aren't too much of a problem. Especially now. Oh, one health, really? That's going to hurt. Okay, not too bad. I'm sure the Feral cuts you because I know I can get the kill. Sets up a bit more blight. I need to check something, actually. One, one sec. I might not be able to check it this round, but I can check it next fight. Yeah, I won't be able to check it this round. Oh, no, I might be able to. Okay. Both of these blight, so we might want to be using Feral Cuts more often to stack up loads and loads of blight. We got this as well. Uh, virtual immunity to... Um, reaches the 95% disease. Oh, okay. It just, it can't give actual immunity, but it is immunity. We don't really need that. Like, that's not actually that useful. We want money more than anything else here. <clears throat> but this party is, is doing really well. I'm really happy with these guys heading out there and seeing some new classes again. It's always good. 
Hopefully get some more food here. We didn't. We got a Jude Tapestry, though. Um, definitely take that. Jude Tapestries are really, really good for money. Okay, so we are looking for... Um, we are looking for quest locations. So let's just quickly check the map. Okay, we've got two this way. Probably going to have another one over this way, so I'll head over this way first. Another okay, Mariner. good. Another misfortune. It's going to be all the way at the end down here, so we've got to, we've got to go for it. Okay, you get that again, sixth. Very well done. Okay, but yeah, anything that's weak to blight, that's going to be... Feral cuts are going to be so good against. Okay, like this guy. This guy, feral cuts are going to do great against. So we start off with... We start off with uh, this. Just to set up our stealth for later. And then, yeah, that feral cuts a crit. That bleeds as well on a crit. Look at that. Already stacked up a ton of blight on you. Mood swings coming in. Let's lower that prop. And get in there. Nice crit. Okay, this guy this guy's going down. He's getting that damage back, but that lowered prop should mean that we take him out relatively quickly here. This is going to hurt. This will bleed for us for a lot. Thank God we dodged it. These stress dealers in the back aren't that much of a worry right now. Look at that. Beautiful. Good thing about our feral cuts as well is we can target two different enemies. So we can go like this, which should mean you're dead. It does. And then we can do that. Um... Yeah, let's do that. That's a lot of damage. Wow. A lot more than I was expecting. You're dead, actually. Wow, that was great. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. Beautiful. That's the way this, this group needs to work. That first battle was a little bit treacherous, but... Now we're, now we're really going for it. Right, scouting's great here. They can be no quest location either of these. So that's making me think I don't actually need to go this way anymore. But we'll, we'll head this way anyways, nonetheless. Okay. Let's hit you. Oh, that's exactly what we will be looking for this whole time. Very well done, Eric. Very well done. Very well done indeed. Uh... You're human, not Eldritch. That doesn't really help us all that much. So let's just do this. That was the wrong one to target. Still, it still works. That wasn't who I wanted to target, though. Right. You're going down. There you go. You're dead. Almost. Not quite. The blow down. Ooh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Slowly. Gently. It's okay, six. Don't worry. Wow, we're getting enemies so close to one, uh, one hit off. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna risk it and try and get, uh, get you healed up before we do anything else. That's what I was hoping wouldn't happen, but it's okay. Not a great heal, but it's good enough. And yes, there you go. We got a heal off of that. That worked out great. That worked out just fine. Really, 25 gold. The first test. I'm a little worried about our food consumption at the moment. We don't have a lot of food left. It's annoying that we have to check this, even though there's a good chance it's just not the right way. Okay, blow a dude. Oh, there's one of these well. Okay, we've got the surprise, which is fantastic for us. Please kill this guy in one hit. Not quite. Um, You are unholy. Hmm. Can you hit that guy? You cannot. Oh, wait. No, you can't. You can't. Just go for the damage on him, then. You're dead. And you're blighted as well. Okay, this is scary, having this guy, because this guy can stress the hell out of us. Minus 15. Uh, plus 15 stress even. Why did I say minus? Okay, Skull Toss. Nice dodge. 
Stress is getting up there a little bit. Him being up front is, is good for us here, though, because we can do this. Yes! Arik! You beautiful, beautiful bastard. Hit with mighty precision. Apart from our somewhat, somewhat iffy healing, this is a very powerful team. Masterfully nice. Executed. Look at that. <laughs> Howl coming in, unfortunately. Really hope we wouldn't get that, but here you go. Returns even the nice. Get that heal on everyone. Seize this Great. Momentum. This is Push so good. To the task's end. Okay, get the scouting here. And of course, this was the wrong way. Head back over this way. I hope we don't get a hunger check on the way back. Why do I even speak? <laughs> I'm going to say we really don't have too much food left here, so either we need to find some or get no more food checks. Because we're going to have to camp as well. We might have to go for the camping where we only spend four food rather than eight, because we don't really have enough to spend eight. Even though I want the stress relief really bad. <laughs> we might have to just rely on our respite points to get our uh, to get our stress down there. I didn't actually check that this, this group has a prevent nighttime ambush either. That's not good, is it? Let's get to this room here, and then we'll uh, we'll camp. Wait a minute. No, we'll camp in this room because we can get rid of a space then and put the uh, quest location thing in our backpack. Right, let's camp it up. Okay. In the dark. Yeah, let's go for four, Battle unfortunately. And just before we get into our respite points, let's quickly dive into a few more of these uh, diary entries. This is another one from Tier year for um, our Plague Doctor. The heroes finally return. And Hammurabi even uh, ever so kindly left the corpse of the Viscount at my doorstep. How he drug it this far, I'm unsure. With such a large, large specimen on hand, I plan to spend the next few days studying it. And I likely won't sleep. Aurora came to me with some very troubling symptoms. The physical mutations are returning. And on the next page, a few days later. Another treatment has been crafted. A thick and bitter tonic that should keep the curse at bay. Sickening as it is, I'm sure it's much preferable to being uh, to consuming blood on a daily basis. This is unfor this is unfortunately still a temporary solution. I need to find something that will work permanently, because this treatment will start to become lethal if taken too often. Damn. And then we have uh, one by again to a year for Benjamin, our um, Eucharistian. We've advanced upon the true ruler of the courtyard. The, co the countess has given us a formal invitation to her lair. I don't doubt that it will be hell to battle her. Having so many under her command and such a huge, constant supply of blood, we will still need a strong, uh, strongest. We we'll still need our strongest to do battle against that beast, and I mean it. Any less will be dooming soldiers to die. Although we have quite a few to spare and more coming every day, some deaths may be necessary to ensure victory. I think it would also be wise to send. That thing that was once my brother, Sean, and hopefully killed two birds with one stone. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, but yeah. Damn, there's got the, he's, he's got some plans here. He has some plans. And we have one more that we'll go into as well um, for Percy, our exterminator by Strange Wonder. The two last exterminations have proven to be the longest ones of my career. The first one had carried us to the ruins with an abundance of undead and a curious amount of sickly, blood-starving monsters from the courtyard. Nothing of particular note happened there. The Mad Bandit Queen had uh, proved herself more useful than I had expected, even if she was loud. The second one proved much trickier. I've heard the first exposition to, the, uh, to confront one of these leaders of the infected had turned into a failure, with the, de uh, with the death of one of the medics, no less. And I learnt why. It was a long journey in which we fought and killed too many of the infected to count. I'd begun to run out of disinfectant by the end of our trip. However, we had succeeded. The plague seems to be put at bay once more. I'd like to contribute to its ultimate culling. Wow. Okay, these are some really good diaries, people. Really good diaries. I'm enjoying them a lot. Okay, so we got Prevent Nighttime Ambush there, if we need it. Um, okay. What we, what we got here, extra virtue chance and stress relief for um, self only, unfortunately. Uh, so I think we've got to take this, even though it's a bit of stress. Then we go stress relief, stress relief, and we could remove disease. Let's let's quickly check what diseases we've got here. Do we have any? 
I don't think we do. Now, I think we're fine on the disease front. Yeah, we are. We don't need to, we don't need to go for that. Um, let's, uh, let's do this because we're going to get some food out of that. And do you know what? I think we should do that again. Yeah, just to get us enough food to pass us by, just in case. And we'll rest As the light gains and push purpose, forward. Spirits are lifted. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, stress is a lot less a lot less out of hand now. It's still not great, albeit, but it's a lot less out of hand. Let's push forward and hope we can get this done. Okay, here's the first one of these. Grab that. Luckily, these are all towards the end here, so we don't have to throw too much valuable things away. The match is struck. Grab a that. Star is and take that over our holy water for now. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it over our holy water for now. Um, We can probably use a shovel there, but I'm not going to risk it because we still have a lot of unsearched areas. We've got one of these. Um, I'm going to take a risk and go for this. Nice. We got the Fiend Hater. Extra damage against humans and unholy. That works out great. Thank you. That, them ones are a little risky to take, but I do like to use them. And then last quest one is at the very end, of course. Of course it is. We've actually got one of these to remove a negative quirk. We have some bad negative quirks in this group here. Um, we've got Marked by the Flock, Superstitious. Um, we've got uh, Weak Grip, Eager to Fight. All of them are pretty bad. Um, that one's bad, but can be good. So I'm not going to get rid of that. Ben Owl is pretty bad. Missed the mark. Mr. Spot, sorry, is pretty bad too. Okay, I think we just go with um, our duelist here for the best chance of getting rid of something necessary. Superstitious, yes. Chance to refuse healing is gone. Very, very good. We do not want to see that. We do not want to see that. We push forward. Once more. Not terrible here. We could probably take on quite a lot of stress, but not terrible. We can probably kill this guy in the first turn here, actually, if we get to go first. I don't think we will, though. Nah, we didn't. These guys have pretty high speed. The only reason um, the only reason Arik gets to go first is because of his trinkets, so that makes sense. That was great. That was so good. I love the fact that on crit, we bleed. So good. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there. That's okay, though. We got one of them again. I'm actually just going to quickly do that because we've got stress incoming here. Um, and... What's your, your... You've got a lot of prot, so let's lower that. Oh, no. He resisted. Unfortunate. Stressing coming again. Got down. Good. These guys have one round of stress left on them. Uh, stress. Stealth, sorry. You're going to take quite a while to go down, unfortunately. Especially with that barnacle barrier. That's going to up your prot. That's, that's going to be kind of painful. But feral cuts with this blight should do a good amount for us here. Precision and power. Nice, nice, nice. And, oh, unfortunate miss there. Really unfortunate miss. Wow, you cannot get the positive one, can you? You can only get the negative one. There's the debuffs we needed. Not a massive debuff to um, prot there, but it does help. Okay. We're probably going to take quite a lot of stress here. We kind of have to just accept that. Nice dodge. We haven't used this yet, by the way, but we haven't really needed to. It's kind of a risky one to use anyways. Like, a lot of her skills we haven't needed to use, to be honest. I'm going to go for the mark there, because that's going to give us a nice stress heal across the board, as well as setting us up for our next attack that will do a bit more damage. And that's going to be good for us. A lot of stress coming in here. Nice dodge. Get that in there. Get some feral cuts going on once more. That's good, because we another bleed. He did resist some of that blight. Okay, you are almost dead to all of this. That's, you're dead to all of this. Yeah, you're so dead. Even to just the blight, you're dead. Huge damage on the Eldritch there. Nice. Rayla, doing great. And a massive heal there on that crit. Nice, this guy can't stress us out anymore either. And there you go. Stabbed through. Success Easily ran so through. Clearly in view. Or 
or is it merely okay I, we fight. might have a battle on this quest location most likely not but we might and let's get sixth ready for this trap once more he never fails us he never fails us and there it is grab that last one and here we go we're good Return to the Hamlet. This was a really nice adventure out, guys. You you worked really, really well together, and we 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 really get to see some interesting new stuff. And we got a Ringmaster Trinket, which is pretty nice. Extra stun uh, chance, pretty good. And a Shuffle as well. Quite a good amount of gold there as well. Unfortunately, Rayla, not quite up to level 5, but 6th is. Um, ooh, that's pretty cool. Got some good stuff there. Good stuff indeed. Uh, and we do have, like I said, a few more diary entries just to round off this episode here. Uh, free upgrade weapon one. Not very good, but hey. Uh, so we'll just get into our diary entries here. Uh, first one is diary entry for unknown by Strange Wonder. A new chaos has begun to erupt within the forsaken town of the hamlet. Death has clutched. Uh, death has clutched it for long. Frosty fingers around the throat of hopeful saviors. As much more arrive soon after. The bandit queen laughs. The vampire seeks help. A new light had come to help with the chaplain's steely gaze focused on the world before her. The duelist awaits the challenge. A healer and one who sets for the world ablaze. Their arrival has caused much change. In the meantime, the disgusting gluttonous deformity has met its end. Only one remains in wait for the heroes to become her feast. Nice. So this is Strange Wonder's take on uh, an overview of what's happening in the Hamlet currently, and I really like this. By the way, if you're seeing the weird, like, jumping of our characters, it's because I'm on my other screen getting our diaries ready. And we do have, uh, I believe, one more for today. Let me just check that. Uh, oh, no, I think, that's, I think that's it for today. Um, I think we've got them all. This is looking really good. We had a really good episode here. Thank you all for those of you that have written diary entries. Really do love them. Um, oh, wait, no, we, we do have one more. We have Victoria. Um, I couldn't feel it. The Vizca... I could feel... Sorry. Messed that up. <laughs> Strange wonder here with Victoria. I could feel it. The Viscount has fallen. He and his minions have had cleaned, uh, claimed a life of one of our own before that. However, I was waiting for joyful news as Isaac, the good doctor, has spread a new solution around the town. It's about time. I tire of a never-ending bloodlust growing with each minute, and that solution seemed to only reset the cure to its beginning state. Only a sip helped to que uh, quell it. Only one other beast of woman remains among them. One that is the most dangerous of all. I heard she invited us to visit. I'd love more than anything to accept that proposal. Wow. Yeah, this is this, there's going to be some pretty, pretty interesting stuff to come in these future episodes let's quickly check out what we've got in terms of um our uh, trinkets so we've got plus tw oh my god i was gonna say that sounds really good but i just i just realized um plus 10 crits received sounds a little bit a little bit horrible negates crimson care stat penalties doubles crimson care stat bonuses and a mute wow that's i'm buying that that's insanely good that's insanely good so with that we get none of the negatives and double the positives of having the crimson curse that sounds so good that sounds so so good um let's check what we got in this shop as well still no syringe we've been looking for one for a while but we still don't have one let's quickly check what we've got here because there might be some good stuff available to us um Five crit versus bleeding. Um, one minute. That could pair. Let's let's quickly just uh, do this. One sec. Unequip all of our trinkets and reorganize. If we pair that with, I'm thinking of one particular trinket. Um, this one. Ten percent bleed chance. Ten percent crit. So that would lead to fifteen percent extra crit. A lot of extra bleed chance. Yeah, I'm taking that. That 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 could work out really well for us here. Um, especially with a flagellant. And yeah, I think that's it that we want from there. And then let's check our stage coach and see if we have anyone else that's arriving. Um, we have... Ooh, I think we have some good classes here. Uh, let's, let's have a little look-see. I think we have some people that we can level up right, right here. So we have 
an arsonist who I think is level four. Let me check out that and make sure. Um, yes, there you go. So we have a champion arsonist. An engineer in Ash. of the all-consuming power of fire and feats of unhinged cunning. And we'll just make sure that you're the right skin. And old Ash level four, you can be gone. And then we actually have Marcus leveling up as well here. To the condition of those poor devils who remain. There you go. And Marcus, we've not actually taken Marcus out yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do that pretty soon. I'm excited to do that pretty soon. Uh, but there's, there's another level up there that helps out immensely. And we can dismiss the level four. And, soul and we actually have a uh, Philomath as well. Like a spent torch. Great stuff. So we go with Katrina. Great stuff. Katrina Duran has also leveled up. I like to think that in the in the long, long time that everyone was out in the uh, courtyard, that these guys have trained themselves up and, uh, and they've gotten a lot better. So let's quickly change up your clothing to match. There you go. And there you go. Less leveling this up to do is always better. And I think useless. everything else, we, we we don't need to level up here. So we're good for everyone else. But we're getting there with the levels. We are getting there. Uh, either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We have a lot of good stuff going on here. And I am ready to uh, to jump back out into it again. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.